Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day today. Did y'all have a good weekend? I had a wonderful weekend. I went to South Padre Island. It was so beautiful and so much fun. And now I'm back home to normal stuff, but that's okay. <laughs> Got to come back home to my pup and I was happy for that. But anyway, let's get into what this video is for. Last week, I showed y'all that I had quite a few of the holiday palettes already. I have done the Too Faced Le Grand Palais palette. I have done the Tarte Light of the Party palette. And then the one that y'all requested the most next after that was the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. So that's what I'm showing y'all today. This is going to be more of a first impressions and swatches than anything else. It's not going to be a full in-depth review because I have not been able to play with it as extensively as I would like to be able to give y'all a full review. So keep that in mind while watching this and stuff. But anyway, there are swatches. Swatches don't lie. Um, but while I do use my swatches, I do have eyeshadow primer on on every swatch because I feel that you spend so much time on your eye look that I feel that a lot of people probably use eye primer, so I swatch them with primer so you can see what they look like with. Anyway, blabbing so much. Let's get into this. This one, like I said, is Kat Von D's Mi Vida Loca palette. Um, you can see that it has this artwork here, which is done by Kat Von D herself. That must be pretty awesome to, you know, be such a talented artist too. On top of having your own makeup line, you can make the packages look like anything you want. So jealous, <laughs> but no, that's really cool. She's talented as heck, obviously. So um, whenever I received it, it came with this horrible plastic stuff, but that's so it could come with the box it came with, and it came with this sheet also, which on the back looks just like the back of this, but on the other side of it, it has three different looks you could create with these shadows. The first look here is what I did on my eyes right here. It looks like a nice pretty sunset on the top or sunrise on the top, and then on the bottom it's just I don't know. You can see what it looks like. <laughs> so um, I think I used about six of the eyeshadows um, on my eyes for that look. So yeah, there's that. And then on the package it says, go crazy with color, go crazy for color with 24 bold new shades, remixed from Kat's fan favorite Mi Vida Loca eyeshadow palette. So yeah, this is a remix of an older palette I think that she had at one time. Um, so yes. And this is what it looks like in the inside if you are not familiar with it. It just slides in and out. So one thing to be careful for, um, if you plan on traveling with this, first of all, it's kind of bulky for traveling, but if you do plan on traveling with this, like get a rubber band or something that you can put all the way across because this thing, there is absolutely nothing keeping it from just sliding out. And also while you're handling it, make sure that you are handling it right side up and wouldn't like to like grab this from the wrong side. It's just like, whoa, and then it crashes to the floor and the shadow shatter and your heart shatter, shatters along with it and you cry and there's tears and devastation and all that cool stuff because I mean this is a pretty awesome palette. I'd be heartbroken to have that explode everywhere. So anyway this is a Sephora exclusive you know she sells all of her stuff on Sephora so that's where you can find it. It's, a, it's $59 and according to the website it's $110 value. Um, it says that, you know, like I said, there are 24 shadows times 1.1 grams each or times 0 0.04 ounces each. Um, let me see. There are, let's get into the actual shades here. There are 24 shades. Um, whenever I was looking at them, I think there are 15 mattes and 9 shimmers, which is interesting because, you know, most eyeshadow palettes you get, most of them go toward the shimmery side. So we have 15 mattes and 9 shimmers. Um, although it might look like some of these might actually be shimmers, like really, really fine glitters. So... I don't know. That's what I think. I, I'm not positive. Yeah, actually this one might... Anyway, it seems that there are more mattes than there are shimmers, so let's just keep that in mind there. Um, I swatched them out. I was keeping their uh, eye contour palette in mind while swatching these, and you know, the eye contour palette by Kat Von D is just so incredibly pigmented. It is one of my all-time favorite um, uh, eyeshadow palettes and um, whenever I swatched these out I noticed that they probably were not as soft as pigmented as creamy and stuff as that but these were quite pigmented a lot of them were there are a few of them that had issues um, that seemed kind of dry and kind of patchy maybe and I think that those ones were destroyer the red one here um, 
vinyl, this one, I don't know what even happened with this one. I don't think it swatched that way the first time I swatched it, so yeah, I'm swatching it now at work. I, I don't know. Whenever I swatched it in the swatches, it did something weird. So there's that one that's kind of iffy, I guess. And then um, Hyper Ballad, it's kind of pigmented, but it looks like it might be slightly patchy when swatching out. So like I said, there are a few here that I'm just like, meh about but a lot of them are really pigmented and stuff you know whenever i saw this palette i was like this is such it's so refreshing to see a palette like this because you know a lot of times there's neutrals there's just like the naked stuff and all that and to see a palette full of colors i saw it and i was like yes i need this i need this so um you know i feel that this is a palette that's kind of you know fun to have if you just want to kind of change things up. Kat Von D usually does do that with crazy colors and all that, so that's always something fun. I guess Urban Decay does too. They just came out with that, um, the vice and stuff. So anyway, um, we have the neutrals here in the center and then on the outside it's like a nice color wheel. It's a nice color wheel for you. So yeah, I think it's kind of cool because, you know, if you're not um, really good at putting colors together, it's easy the way it's set up because you know you could always do a light for the lid um, um, medium and then dark kind of as a gradient and then the dark in the crease and stuff and you know it's just a lot easier I think to try and pair things up but then again these are crazy colors so they might be a little bit um, strong for those who are new to colors but anyway I'm happy with my purchase with this like I said there are definitely some some colors that aren't up to par but um yeah these are fun like i said not a full-on review if you have any questions i can i can let you know but anyway it's time to get into these swatches the first color that i have is vox next is strutter Lyric, this one is really cool. Like, you, it has some pink shimmer that I don't think that the uh, camera is really picking up. Black metal. Skulls. Noble. Molder. And that makes up the neutrals in the center of the palette. Now getting into the colors, the first one here is Legend. Fran. Analog. Harpsichord. Rewind. Destroyer. Swoon. Love. Has two dots over the O. I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm just gonna say love. <laughs> Anthem. Muse. Echo. Dark Wave. Synth. 
Oh, that one was pigmented. Hyper Ballad. Lemmy. Misfit. And vinyl. That one did not want to come off. Alright guys, so you saw the swatches. I hope that the camera is able to pick up like how some of them were kind of patchy how I was saying, just so you can see what I was talking about. But anyway, you saw the patch you saw the patches. You saw the swatches. What are your thoughts? Is this something that you need in your makeup life or are you gonna pass on it? I want to know all of your thoughts thoughts. And like I've said probably a million times already, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer them for you. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. It truly helps me. Please leave me comments. I already told you that. And please subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you here with me being friends. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I will see you guys in a couple of days. Goodbye. Hey guys, hope you're all doing great today. Yesterday I did swatches of Too Faced Holiday um, Le Grand Palais palette. And um, so today I'm going to do swatches over Tarte's, what's it called, Light of the Party collection here. I'm not really going to...